Hello, PEMF therapy or pulse electromagnetic field therapy is a type of therapy that uses electromagnetic fields to promote health and well-being. PEMF therapy is based on the idea that electromagnetic fields can influence the cells and tissues in our bodies. Exposure to these pulsating fields can simulate cellular activity, improve circulation, reduce inflammation, and change tissue repair and support overall healing processes. Uh, this therapy has been used for various purposes, including pain management, promoting bones healing, improving sleep quality, reducing inflammation, and changing wound healing, reducing the effect of stress, improving blood oxygenation, and much more. In several of my previous videos, which you can view, view in the given playlist, I describe several simple ways to making such devices. This time I will describe a simple way to make a multi-channel PMF device that is used to make a special therapeutic bed or therapeutic chair. In this case the coils are placed inside the mattress, uh, usually distributed in three or four different places so that we can uh, so that when we lie down or sit down the whole body is exposed to magnetic radiation the device is very simple to build and contains components that are easily available online and are also very inexpensive the electronic part without coils and power supply costs about ten dollars total uh, I used ready-made modules for construction so it can be made relatively easily by builders who do not have extensive knowledge in this area. The device contains several components. ZKPP1K signal generator module, high power MOSFET switch driver module, one for each channel, Four coils should be connected to this output, outputs, uh, and power supply of 12 volts, minimum 10 amperes. Power supply from PC can be used for this purpose. Uh, the modules are interconnected with a conductor with a diameter of 1.5 millimeters or more due to the large current that passes through them, while the diameter of the wire for the pulsating signal uh, that is brought to the inputs is not important. I'm using a 12 volt 4 amperes power supply for this demonstration because I will only connect one coil at a time. In real conditions all four channels would be uh, would be used and it is cheaper and more practical to use a PC power supply. Uh, at the output of the each of the each channel uh, I placed a LED diode uh, that, that, uh, LED diode that signals uh, whether the channel is functioning. These diodes can be freely omitted. In the appendings at the end uh, you can see that there are two similar circuits. In one a potentiometer has been added which can be used to continuously regulate the flux from zero to maximum. In my practic devi practical device, I have omitted the potentiometer for simplicity and the intensity of the magnetic field can be partially changed by changing the duty cycle uh, in the range of 5 to 30%. Otherwise, the standard value of the duty cycle should be around 10%. I would like to suggest you a very important note. Namely, very often on my channel I receive requests for advice on how to make a PM device that would output a very strong magnetic flux of 200 Gauss and much more. According to NASA's extensive research in this therapeutic method, the best results are obtained at magnetic flux in the range of 0.1 to 4 Gauss. By increasing the strength of the flux, the effect of the therapy remains unchanged. So the rule stronger magnetic field, stronger therapy does not apply here. In this device the magnetic flux strength is between 10 and 20 Gauss per channel which is more than enough. Also various exotic shapes with magical properties are definitely a scam. 
Uh, coil shapes with magical properties are definitely a scam and avoid even reading about them at all. I still can't believe that they are sold at fantastic high prices. Unfortunately, it is a fact that there is a great demand for this type of coils, but only by people who do not understand the way uh, this therapy works. Seller invent countless silly theories to try to convince you of the effectiveness of their product. Uh, we can test the functionality of this device as well as other such, other such devices using an ordinary small magnet. If we bring the magnet closer to the coils and if the device works, we should feel vibrations with a frequency set uh, by the signal generator module. module. And now a few sentences about making the coils. Uh, coils should meet several conditions. The ohmic resistance of the coil, that is the resistance value measured with a standard of ohm meter, should be 4 ohms or more. At higher resistance the field is weaker and vice versa. The diameter of the wire which the coils is wound should be greater than 0.5 mm cross-sectional area 0.2 mm square. The inductance of the coils is not critical and should be in the range of approximately 10 to 40 millihenry. The dimensions of the coils are arbitrary. A coil with a smaller diameter gives a stronger magnetic field but over a smaller area and a coil with a larger cross-section gives a weaker magnetic field uh, over a larger area. You can easily make the necessary calculation for sizing the coil using the online calcul calculators and for example I use the given calculators with webs. And finally a short conclusion. I am not a medical person and I cannot discuss the effect of the device although I personally have many positive experiences from using it. I can also say that uh, low frequency magnetic fields definitely have no negative impact except in people where it is contraindicated. In fact, a magnetic uh, MRI imaging uses magnetic fields that are thousands of times stronger than those at PEMF and we all know that this imaging is completely harmless. It is always advisable to consult with a healthcare professional or a qualified practitioner before starting any new therapeutic intervention. Uh, this device is installed in a suitable box made of a PVC material with thickness of 3 and 5 mm and covered with self-adhesive wallpaper. <laughs>